Hi everybody, it's Dr. Sam Robbins. Today's question is from Rose and she asks, how do I know if I have high blood pressure? I think lately I've had it because I've been having headaches. How can I lower my blood pressure naturally? So here's the truth. Unless you take your blood pressure readings multiple times a day for a few days in a row, it's almost impossible to know if you have chronic high blood pressure. And this is because there is no list of symptoms or signs of high blood pressure or hypertension. And this is the scary part. In fact, it's a myth that people with high blood pressure will experience symptoms like nervousness or sweating, headaches, nosebleeds, or facial flushing. And the scary part is that high blood pressure is a symptomless silent killer. Now, if you ignore your blood pressure because you think a certain symptom or sign will alert you to the problem, you are taking a dangerous chance with your life. And this is a very important topic for me because I have a family history of high blood pressure. Now, what really scared me personally is at an early age is that my grandfather died immediately with his first and only stroke. And my uncle was handicapped and paralyzed for the rest of his life with his first and only stroke. Thus, no warnings, no second chances, and no opportunity to make changes or improvements. And this is why high blood pressure is known as the silent killer. Unfortunately, having high blood pressure has become a silent epidemic. Now, did you know that about one third or thirty five percent of adults over the age of twenty have high blood pressure, and yet seventy two percent aren't even aware that they have hypertension. And if you're over the age of fifty, whether you're man or woman, over fifty seven percent of the population has high blood pressure. And if you're over sixty years old, it's a shocking sixty seven percent, and it gets worse. About seventy seven percent of people who have their first heart attack have high blood pressure. And 84% of people having strokes also have high blood pressure. The fact is that high blood pressure is a major cause of a heart attack or stroke. And in my opinion, more important than cholesterol levels. And this is why blood pressure drugs are the number two most prescribed drugs in America. And get this, there are 11 types of blood pressure lowering drugs and a total of over 75 different medications. And yet... This problem is just getting worse and worse each and every year, mainly because these drugs just aren't working. Anyway, I mentioned all this not to be a downer or to ruin your day, but to emphasize the importance of making sure you have healthy blood pressure levels and not look for symptoms because there aren't any reliable ones. Because the statistics show that most of us have elevated blood pressure. So you and I need to really make improvements in our lifestyle. And I don't want you to be another statistic like my own grandfather, uncle, and even my dad. And forget about taking drugs. Obviously, like I said, they don't work and it's not a good or safe long-term solution, as you already know. Natural remedies exist and it's what I personally use myself as well as my family. And below, I have a great video about this topic where I reveal the real cause of high blood pressure as well as the five best foods for lowering your blood pressure naturally. So. Please don't feel like things are hopeless. Simple, effective, proven and safe solutions do exist. Well, that's it for today. I hope this video was helpful and gave you more clarity. If you like more information about this or similar topics, please subscribe to this YouTube channel because I'll be making more highly researched videos aimed at keeping your entire body and mind healthy so you can look and feel young. And if you think someone else might benefit from today's topic, please share the health with an email or social media text or any way to help someone you care about. And don't forget to leave your comments or questions below. And also make sure you take a look at the bonus video below about the real cause of high blood pressure and the five best foods for lowering it naturally. As always, thanks for listening and have a happy and healthy day.